I wasn't worried about waiting because I knew that we were gonna be together forever anyway. So I met Howie when we were working at the gymnastics center. I was coaching and she was working the front desk. He didn't really talk to me. She thought I didn't like her because I never talked to her, but I noticed her my first day there. I would get excited every time I had to like walk a kid out of class and I was like, oh, you have Coach Howie? After a while, I just kind of started stopping by the front desk and chatting with her a little bit. I knew that he liked me, but I was like, I'm way too tall for him. <laughs> I kind of saw it as a, a challenge. I kind of liked it. Once I actually got to know him, I was like, oh, damn, he's like pretty cool. <laughs> One word, caring. He just has like the biggest heart for everyone. Compassionate. And I guess the reason I say that is because she really cares about people's feelings and the people that are close to her. I think she always wants those people to be happy. He texted me while I was at work and said, let's go down to the beach. You know, we had both had a stressful week at work and we kind of just like got our stuff together. He packed his little backpack <laughs> cooler with some champagne and champagne glasses and went down to our favorite beach. Then took a walk up the beach and kind of had some space alone. It was perfect. He found a little staircase and he was like kind of stopped. And, and so he popped the champagne and poured a couple glasses and then... I said a toast to having been together for six years. Right as I was about to take a sip. I said, wait, 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 there's one more thing. And so I turned around. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Pulled the ring out of the backpack. Got down on one knee and... Asked her to marry me and she finally said yes about half an hour later because she realized she never said yes, but, but she said it with her emotions. <laughs> now I'm gonna cry. I'll be here for her and love her and support her no matter what goes on in our lives and any hardships we may come across. I'm there to support her and love her through the whole thing. And don't ever doubt that. I found my soulmate and I can't, literally can't imagine a day without you or the rest of my life. I really just, I feel like the absolute luckiest girl in the world.